channel. Um, this is Sierra and I'm coming to you with a new video and I discovered that I really like doing these. What we're going to do is we're going to do some of these um, shaker coffee molds and these molds I measured they hold one ounce. Um, a half ounce will go on the outer rim and then a half ounce to cover. Okay. So I got four of those. We're gonna, and then I have uh, four of these. I'm not sure yet if I'm actually gonna use these or if I'm gonna use some acetate. Not sure yet. But we'll figure that out. And I also have the stand, and we will do these in a minute. What I want to concentrate on are these. Now I have done. Uh, practice with some UV resin and to me uh, the coffee beans and uh, whatever these jojoba whatever these little beans are they just don't seem to I just can't get them as dark as I want them they get dark but then you have to do a couple more steps and so I decided um, we're gonna go with epoxy so I'm going to mix up one ounce of one to one epoxy and when I get back we'll go from there okay I got my resin mixed uh, like I said it's a one to one ratio um, I did uh, put the resin in a, in a warm water prior to pouring it because my room gets kind of cold so I'm going to set that aside, let it degas for about five minutes, and then I'm going to bring out the tray for my uh, resin cure. Okay, it's easier for me to set these in here. And then when it comes time to transferring it to my machine, I'm not spilling anything. We're also going to need five of these. I like using these little silicone cups. They're easy to clean. Three, four, five. Uh, I like to use a little dotting tool. This one has a uh, uh, dotting tool and silicone tip. I come in a pack of, I think, five. I'm not sure. We're also going to need some colors. So, let me get my colors together here. For these little, be, uh, I don't know what they're called, but they're, I don't drink the tea or whatever with those little beads in it, beans or whatever. I'm going to use, um, and I'm not going to use this. I decided to use this. That's what I was using. I'm going to use some of this black uh, pigment paste. I'll we'll shake it up because I always forget to do that. For the coffee beans, these little things here, um, I'm going to use a dye called coffee. For the ice cubes, I'm going to stick with clear resin, but I'm going to mix in some Stampendous shaved ice. A little bit of that in there. Um, for the lemon slices, I'm going to use some lemon yellow and a drop of golden yellow with a little bit of yellow glitter. For the lime slice, I'm going to use a pale green resin dye with a little um, dot of emerald green with a little bit of green glitter. So that is what I am using. So the first thing I'm going to do are the coffee beans. So I'm going to Pour some in there. 
and I'm going to get the copy die. I'm gonna put we'll start with three drops. I know it seems like a lot for a little bit of resin, but I want it dark. Now if I wander off frame, I'm sorry. I'm will try to keep in mind that I have you all with me. So you really want to mix this in. Okay, now I'm going to use the dotting tool and I'm gonna just dot in a couple until I get the cavity filled. Go on to the next one. And I'll probably fast forward this. going to do the little black ones. Um, not going to need as much, I don't think. I need more. I'll do more. Okay. This stuff is highly pigmented. Uh, I'm going to do two little drops. And for this, I'm going to use this little spoon. Okay. You get a piece of paper towel. Now, here we go. Let's try on this side first. drops of this and one drop of the golden yellow and then we're going to throw some yellow glitter And then we are going to mix it up. You might hear my husband singing. He always sings. But who can get mad at that? Oh, some people, I guess. I don't think that's going to be enough for this lemon. I'll just repeat it. Let's add our right, green. Here we come. Green. We need a, some more resin. And I want to use pale green. And one drop of this emerald green. And some of this fresh green from Arteza. And 
and we're going to mix it up. green in. Uh, make some make some more green. Let's get some shaved ice. Spin. Mix that in. That look pretty. Oh, let's see what we got here. Do we have enough? I'm going to put this in my curing machine. I'm going to clean up. Um, for me, it'll be about two hours. And when this is done, I will be back. Okay, these are done. This took about two hours in my curing machine, and I'm using a 24-hour uh, resin. And let's start with the... I'm just going to unmold one on here, and then I'll do the rest. But... I love my resin curing machine, especially with um, molds this shallow. It would take a long time to uh, cure longer because um, it's so shallow. The, the, the deeper the resin the faster it cures in my experience these turned out really cute those are the coffee beans I'll have to look this up um, I remember I'll, I'll put it on the screen of what these are actually supposed to be but anybody who drinks uh, iced coffee or tea or whatever will find those in there But to me, this turned out better than using UV resin because I could get them as dark as I wanted. And now for the ice cubes. I don't know if you can see the shimmer in there. But anyway, I thought that would look nice. There's an ice cube. This one needs to be... No, it don't. It's good. Now we're going to... Do the lemon. And it's got some sparkle. I don't know if you can see. And then we got the lime. You can see the sparkle in the lime. So I'm going to unmold this and then I'll get back when I'm getting ready to pour some more resin. Okay, I'm going to mix up four ounces of resin. Then I have some of these that I've already pre-marked with half an ounce. And for the colors of the cups, um, I want to do this, what is this called? Phthalo blue. Um, red. Amethyst and emerald green because I want the coffee cup to be that. And I'm also going to mix in just a teeny tiny bit of dazzling diamond. A little bit goes a long way with this. Okay, we're back. I have this set on my little tray uh, for my uh, resin curing machine. 
and I'm going to set this over here and we're going to get our colors together and I'm going to take this and I'm going to pour uh, half an ounce and I'm going to pour one here Now, I'm going to do one, oh, let me get that out of there, I did not want that in there. It's another thing you don't want to do, you don't want to open your, your bottles or your containers right over the resin, right over the resin, you don't want to do that. I think that was three. Okay, purple, or amethyst. If I need to add more, I will. We're gonna put in that green. And we're gonna go red. Okay, and when you get, if you ever get the stuff, don't sneeze. And then we're going to mix up the green. That is so pretty. Might want it just a little bit darker. So I'm going to add two more. So pretty. So pretty. Okay, there's our green and red. Go purple. Or amethyst. And blue. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, let's start with the blue one. I'm going to use a pipette.
pretty good. Looks good. Mm -hmm. I don't want to tempt the resin guides. Okay, I'm going to place this one on the bottom. So this, um, I would do all the colors, I just don't want it to turn into mud. So I might just do clear with some of this beautiful stuff, but I don't need a lot. Mm. So that works. You just need such a little bit of that. Go such a long way. Wow. in my curing machine and I'm going to let it run for two hours. When that's cured I will be back and we will go to the next step and I'll see you in a second. Okay um, I got these. These are cured. Um, now what I want to do is I want to put a clear coat on this and this is going to take a half ounce each so I'm going to have to pour uh, two ounces. So let's get these back on the tray. Because I took them off to take a look at them. Put that there. Put that there. Okay. And I'm going to mix up two ounces of resin. Got my green leaves back. Cup. There we go. Get my little and we are going to start with the blue one. back. Uh, these, this one's turned out pretty good. This one I did an over, over pour. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Oh yeah. I over poured this one big time. Mm. Not too bad. I mean, I can always fix it. Yeah, I'm going to have to try and fix that because I don't like how that looks. So I'll try and fix that off screen, off camera, sand it. That's all I'm going to do. 
I'm going to get in there and get that out of there. I'm going to try to anyway. Let's undo the purple one. This one, I feel perfect. It's a little. Do the green one. It's raining outside, so you might hear thunder. This one turned out nice. turned out good. I did have some more uh, extra resin. I just made some more ice cubes. Do those real quick. Okay, and put them in the little dish. Okay, what else do I have here? We're not done with these, obviously. So here is the dilemma that I have. When I fill these, do I want to use that with UV resin? I know I don't want to use UV resin because UV does not uh, adhere to a epo epoxy. Not long term anyway. I'm going to pour one ounce of resin and I'm going to do this and I'm going to color half an ounce with my coffee dye. It's a dye, it's not um, my alcohol ink. And a half ounce with the Prolex Pro White. And then once I get the resin mixed, I'll be back. Two, and this is what I want to do with these. We'll start off there. You really want to mix your mica powders really good. I feel much better with that. Now let's mix this. You also want to make sure you get your dyes mixed in because it can be kind of streaky. Okay. Let me get a piece of paper towel. Okay. I'm going to start down here at the bottom. And...
to get some liquid latex. If you don't like using liquid latex, you can also use a white PVA glue like I'm going to pour some in a cup. I only use this in my resin products, projects or whatever I don't use, I pour it back in the bottle. I'm going to get this, it's just a little silicone tip. What we're going to do, there's the blue one, purple one. Green one, red one. First, what I want to do is, if you look at how this works, there's a groove right there. Right, there's a channel right here. And you also have the little channel to fill it with liquid right here. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put liquid latex along the sides in that channel along the sides here here on top of here but not in this but not in this channel but in here on top of here along all the sides on all of them and then when it dries I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to cover this with li liquid latex um the other blue one that I poured, I experimented on, and this was the best way. So, how I do it, I just take this and dab it on. You really don't want to get on the top, because that's where we're going to be sealing it. And this is just going to prevent resin from dripping down. You can spread it out. You don't need it thick, but I at least like it covered. It takes a little while to dry. No biggie. But yeah, I just tap, tap, tap. Like that. So when I get all four of these done on the rims, because I gotta let it dry before I flip them. At least I think so. We'll see. Then I'll come back. Okay. This is dry. And I did fill the little channel there with some liquid latex. And I'm going to turn them over. And this is a step you don't have to do. I want to do it because I'm not confident with um, resin over pouring on the other side. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover, I'm just protecting the this from any overspill. That's all that is for. back with my little cups I have them turned over and I have it's all dry okay um, I have 
some resin here mixed up we're letting it sit um, I'm gonna check it in 20 minutes um, I want it to tacky up a little bit in the meantime I've got let's take this one out of the mold and that's what that looks like very pretty and we're going to take this one out very pretty and this one Real nice. This one. All pretty. We're gonna fill up our little, our little things here. But the key is we gotta keep everything in the center. So, I'm going to do an iced coffee and I'm flipping them down. As soon as this resin thickens up, don't go by testing it with your heat with uh, your heat or whatever because this amount of resin doesn't really register it's still kind of runny so I don't want to do that but I don't want it like like a gloopy I want it I want it a thick consistency but not too thick and I want these to stay in its place then once these go on they will go on like this you let it set for the full time it takes to cure don't pick it up don't just let it cure and then um, as soon as this sticks gloops up enough I'll be back my resin is not it's still kind of it's not it's gloopy but it's not like or you can't manage it okay and I have a uh, baby wipe here a little bit of rubbing alcohol on it and I also have a piece of dry paper towel if I need it and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this with my dotting tool I don't want a whole bunch on there and I'm just going to run along the edge you want it closer to the outside edge than the inside edge uh, that is why I put the um, latex it does not have to be on the inside edge it's not a big deal if it goes on the inside edge I just want the edge with um, resin want to make sure you get the corners
on in the groove here. There's a little gap right here. I have a little bit of liquid latex in there. I don't want to fill that with any kind of resin. But my head's not in there. Oh. Now I'm just going over to make sure I have everything covered. Make sure my hands are clean. I'm going to pick up one of these forms. And I'm going to ease it down. And I'm going to move it into position. And hopefully not get any resin. That looks good. Those four are on, and I'm going to let these cure 16 hours before I even touch them. So, there they are, and when they're done, I'll be back and we'll hopefully get to filling them. See you soon. Okay, we're back. I'm back. We're gonna peel off the liquid latex. 
off of the these pieces here. is I don't trust myself with the resin but you can leave it like like this which is cute turned out really cute next step will be to fill them with some um, baby oil. Let's unmold this. Let's see how this turned out. really good really like it let's see how they sit that one's up a little high go this way Gonna, I'm going to attempt to fill these with baby oil and I have some in here I know I'm going to need more I have a funnel to fill this with more baby oil I find doing it this way is easier and cleaner um, I'm going to use some UV resin to seal up the little opening there I got my little UV torch here and I have my UV light over here. Let's get started. Take this off. Okay, I had to take a small little drill and open that up. So I'm going to start with this one. And let's go. This bottle is going to drip. I should put some paper towel down. This it's got rubbing alcohol on it. Get a piece of dry paper towel. And you're gonna clean that hole really good, that opening. Take your UV resin. And you're going to, I don't like doing it this way. I like doing it like this. You're going to put a little bit in there. Get your little dotting tool.
and give it a cure. Some more in there. I'm going to set this in my uh, UV light lamp. I'm going to give it a cure. Put that in there for a couple minutes. Move this out of the way. i got to clean this up. I do not like a mess. All right. I'm going to fill this up, and I will be right back. And we don't have any leaks. You need that little air pocket in there if you want your stuff inside to move. But yeah, I don't, I'm not feeling any leaks. Yep, so I'll fill up. Yep, make sure. One thing about these, they can spring a leak anywhere. But I don't feel one, so let's, let me fill up another one. Check this one out. Okay, got my resin ready. Stick that in there. I just wanted to make sure that I had no leaking, uh, no leaking whatsoever. It turned out great. Um, love how these turned out. Um, I just want to point out the little air pockets that I left. If you have leave a small air pocket, your inclusions will move slow. See how slow that's moving? If you have a bigger air pocket, your inclusions will move much faster, depending on how big your uh, air bubble is. Uh, I use baby oil. You can also use uh, a glycerin and water mixture. You can use a baby oil um, or just distilled water. Um, so yeah, this turned out really good. So thank you for watching. I'll have pictures posted at the end. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Hit, give me a like if you like this video and comment. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future, and I will be back again with another video soon. And you have a good day, and God bless. Bye.